Cornucopia. Cornucopia. I saw that advertisement and it seemed quite interesting and something that would help me to take care of my whole self. Your cornucopia house is a statement to uh, the can of kids, what you can do. The cornucopia. 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 It's here for people. Uh, it, it will be here for you should you ever find that you are in that position. Welcome to Cornucopia. Our mission statement is to be a place where anyone who is touched by cancer can find the support and resources that they need to live life to the fullest. One of the reasons why it's such a special place is because of all the different services we provide. People need different things when they're going through the cancer journey. They need support, they need resources, they need someone to talk to, they need information about nutrition, about meditation, stress management, any variety of things. Cornucopia has a variety of services that will meet anyone where they are on that journey. Well, Cornucopia is just a wonderful place for people going through cancer or um, their caretakers to come and have a loving atmosphere away from the medical um, field or hospital scene, somewhere that uh, they can enjoy activities, uh, have a massage, and um, just have some relief from whatever they are going through. I don't talk about being a cancer survivor all the time. I, th I think part of that is I gave cancer a year of my life and I didn't I didn't want to give it any more than I had to. So I um, I tend not to to dwell on it. I, I want to just live my life. Uh, it's certainly still a part of who I am and has shaped some things about me. But uh, I thought it might be nice to be in a group of people where certainly that um, core understanding was there, spoken or unspoken, and I've certainly found that here. Uh, I think that uh, Cornucopia uh, allowed Vicki to maintain a uh, sense of optimism. Cornucopia helped make her uh, optimistic that she would, could comfortably live with cancer for a reasonable period of time. And as it turns out, the amount of time that she was able to live with cancer uh, exceeded by several months the uh, diagnosis that she was given by her uh, doctors. And uh, I do attribute that to the comforting and reassuring nature of the services that were provided by Cornucopia. Being a caregiver is very rewarding, but also very challenging. Um, during the last few months of my wife's life, I had to take care of her, uh, uh, be totally in charge of her nutritional uh, needs and most of her uh, uh, hygiene needs. And um, even though initially that doesn't sound uh, uh, rewarding, it was very much so because I was able to do it. Uh, as a couple, we were able to do it uh, so that we both felt completely comfortable with the process. And uh, I learned a lot by doing it, and I hope that my wife gained a lot by teaching me to do it.
think Peer Connect is beneficial for both the guide and the participant. So the person that's asking for someone to talk to and those who support them. And the reason I think that is I hear that from both sides. Not only do the participants have somebody to talk to that they don't feel encumbered. You know, they don't feel like they're imposing on them because that's really what that person is supposed to do is support them in their journey. I think the participants here get pain relief, relaxation, a sense of loving touch. And I enjoyed massages when I was here and I enjoy giving massages and I get uh, thanks for having uh, them feel better and uh, it's a, been a blessing to me. So I think the reason that NIA can be um, particularly helpful for cancer survivors is NIA is um, really based in the pleasure principle which means that we really believe in connecting to the sensation of pleasure um, as a way to heal the body and to guide the body. We say that Nia is um, a body, mind, emotion, and spirit, a fitness and lifestyle form. So it's, it's definitely about connecting with the whole person, um, wherever that person is at. I feel that the, the participants here at Cornucopia House have shared with me how they feel so much more relaxed um, a stress reduction when they have finished a polarity session. Um, some people have pains that decrease, but not everybody has that situation. And every, every client is different. And even each session with the same client over time, the sessions are different. I enjoy being involved here because I like people and I like um, doing things that I perceive are helpful for people. Some of the clients have said things like they experience a deep peace, uh, a deep sense of peace and relaxation and stress reduction. And some of them um, experience uh, different sensations in their bodies during uh, the treatment. Some see um, swirls of color um, or other images come. Whatever comes to the client is appropriate for that client at that moment. Every Tuesday and Wednesday when I enter this classroom and I look around me and see the students, I feel so honored that I get to be here and teach yoga. I love it. I love coming into this classroom and feel fortunate that I get to be here with people who are going through an experience that is so unique to each person. No two people's experiences are alike. And I get to, in a small way, go along with them in that journey. But it's a very small way, and I know that. But the fact that they trust me and come week after week is, I'm, I'm very thankful. You're listening to That Cancer Show, a service of Cornucopia Cancer Support Center. Good evening. This is Dave Richmond. So That Cancer Show is a fabulous new program that Cornucopia has as a way for Cornucopia to reach out beyond its walls, beyond the services that we provide. Uh, the shows have a variety of topics. Um, some of them are related to programs that we provide, like we've done one on yoga and stress relief. We've done one on uh, the value of acupuncture. And then we're also doing some other topics that stretch a little bit, like the role of toxins in uh, cancer and cancer diagnoses, uh, what challenges kids face uh, when a family member has cancer, and uh, how do uh, widowed fathers cope. So there's a lot of different uh, types of topics that we're taking on every week. Uh, in this program, bringing in guests who are participants, non-participants, experts in the community, experts throughout the uh, United States. As 
director of community relations, I help win friends and funds in support of our mission. My job is to make sure that anyone touched by cancer in our community knows that we exist and that they have a place where they can find the support and resources that they need to live life to the fullest. My own background allowed me to uh, uh, focus and help with planning process of organizations. And at the time, Cornucopia was going through a strategic planning process. Since that time, I, most of my involvement on the board has been involved in thinking out the future and creating uh, alternative futures for the organization. Uh, it's been quite rewarding. Uh, we're moving in the direction that we planned starting in 2007, and now we're starting to shift into a, a broader future for the organization. During my cancer journey, I was able to use many of Cornucopia's services. These services included therapeutic massage, polarity, Reiki, movement classes to include Tai Chi and yoga. I also attended nutrition classes and I am a Peer Connect guide. I look forward to the massages because they're very relaxing. They help me to just kind of put all my cares and problems aside and that hour is spent on really focusing on what it would take to make me feel better. And so I look forward to that at least once a month coming. I appreciate that it can be done with donation because when you're going through um, treatments like this and having financial issues, it's just great to have a service like this that's available for what I can afford to give. And I don't mind giving something because I want to see the program continue because I know it's very helpful to me and it's going to be helpful to a lot of other people too. I was also very impressed to find that caregivers could come and participate in it. And I have a sister who has helped me tremendously and she has benefited as well by coming for the massage. And I appreciate that because in a way it was like my gift to her for being a helper and taking care of me. Bob has also been the one that uh, has helped her a lot. He, excellent with the way he does this and he knows what he's doing I love the way he works also with the feet to do the reflexology to make them feel better so all in all it's just a wonderful experience